Alright guys, what's up? Al from It's Androids World here, today doing another full ROM review and tutorial. Now this is of something called Sense Hero. And um, this is really weird. When I'm at the end of the setup process, it tells for me to select my home screen, Orange or HD Sense. Um, now I don't know which one I want to do because I kind of want to see, kinda wanna see what Orange looks like, but I want to use HTC Sense. So I'm just going to show you guys what Orange looks like and then I'll reflash the ROM or you can change home screen style at any time by tapping home screen icon in all programs. Alright, cool. So I'm going to finish this up and I'll be right back when it's done loading. Alrighty guys, so here's the actual ROM. And by the way, this is not orange. Orange did not work for me. So anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the ROM. So this is called Sense Hero version 1.4. Here's the application drawer. It looks like a little house. And you just tap on that and it'll open up your application drawer. And as you can see, you can flick through the amazing new icons here. And you have some really nice icons like for the market and things like that. See the albums, Amazon MP3. All these applications are completely stock. I have just, literally just flashed this ROM. And they look quite nice. And you have the Mount USB app there. Um, you have wireless and wire tether and everything. And as you can see, the door is open right now to the house. And if I tap it, the door is closed. So that's pretty cool. This right here is the add icon, so you can add to home screen, as you can see. So that's pretty cool, and right there is the phone. Um, the ROM actually is quite smooth, which is pretty interesting. Um, has a completely different style than Hero, but it seems to be literally what Hero is, which is pretty interesting. So we'll go ahead and go to this empty screen right here, and we'll tap this icon. You can see you got your default shortcuts. And you got your HTC widgets. You got your bookmarks widget, which I don't know if you can tell, but this little bar right there is completely changed now, and I think it looks a lot better. And of course, there's the 12 clocks and everything like that. You guys have seen all these widgets in all my different Hero ROM videos, so you probably definitely know what it looks like by now. But this is quite a smooth one, and up on top, the notification bar slightly changed. You got the different logo up here and the blue battery, which does look quite nice transparent notification bar with these three dots right here as well which we can swipe up opening up applications is quite fast on this ROM which is really really nice and I can actually jump through this ROM faster than any hero ROM I've actually chested out and this is actually quite smooth wow so let's go ahead and launch open the browser see how fast it takes to open up and everything I usually edit it out because it does take quite some time but since this ROM seems to be opening things up quite fast. I'll go ahead and leave it in here so you can see. And it's going to HTC.com. You can see the little progress bar going across right there. That just jumped like crazy. And by the way, my SD card is partitioned to EXT4 640 megabytes, Linux swap at 128 megabytes, and FAT32 as the remainder of my SD card. If you do not know how to partition your SD card, I'll have a pop up a pop up that will appear right next to my phone on the left side. So um yeah, just keep that in mind and of course that'll teach you guys how to partition your SD card with Amon Ra's 1.5.2 recovery image. As you can see flash content does not work on this website, which pretty much sucks. And to search, you have to tap menu and you'll get the URL bar that pops up here. And then you can search any site you want. So we'll go ahead and go to BBC News dot com spelled that wrong and we'll hit go see how fast the browser loads up and once again the progress bar is right there next to my thumb as you can probably tell Seems to be loading at a pretty dis decent speed. Pulls up content right now. And we can already start swiping through. As you can see. And it is pretty smooth for not even being loaded yet. It's 
pretty nice. So I'm already going in, and I can use multi-touch, which was very quick there. And zoom out as well. That's pretty cool. Zoom back in a little bit. Pan through the site. And there it is close up. That's pretty. So decent browser. Um, I'm not sure if Flash content is working. And I'll go ahead and load up a Flash page and see if that works. Alright guys, and right now I'm loading up Flash. You can see the little time right there. And there it is, actually running on my browser. Seems to actually be working. Let's see if it loads up. Oh, there it is. Alright, and again, we can, you know, pinch to zoom in while flash content is loading. So, slight lag right there. As you can see, it's not really doing anything. And then I can zoom in and out and click around while the flash content is still moving. So, that's pretty cool. So, that's pretty much it, guys. That's the full ROM review. Um, right now, I have the Death SPL. Um, actually, no, I have the ENG SPL running on my phone right now. Pretty much either the ENG, Death, or Danger SPL all will work. But what you're going to want to do now to get this ROM is plug in the USB cable to the bottom of your phone. Scroll down the notification bar, tap USB connected, and hit mount. Once again, my SD card is partitioned EXT4, 128 megabytes Linux swap, and everything else is FAT32. And now go to your computer. Alrighty, and now that we're at our computer, go ahead and open up your SD card and delete any file that is currently on your SD card. And then find wherever you downloaded the Sense Hero file and drag it onto the root of your SD card and let the file copy. Now this is an extremely large um, file. It is a 90 megabyte transfer, um, which is quite large, actually. And this is another reason why you need either the ENG, Danger, or Death SPL because it frees up more internal space. So you can actually flash Hero ROMs because you'll, you'll pretty much never find a Hero ROM less than 70 to 90 megabytes. So this is a re very, very large one. 90 megabytes and once it's done copying to the root of your SD card all you have to do is safely eject your phone from the computer and go back to your phone alright guys now unplug the USB cable from your phone just by yanking it out and wait for the preparing SD card logo that's gonna pop up in the notification bar to go away now turn off your phone by holding down the end call button tap power off and hit OK and wait for the phone to shut down. Now that it's done, tap home and tap power right after and boot your phone up using home and power to boot into recovery. Of course, you should probably have Armin Ross Recovery Image 1.5.2 installed on your phone. If you do not, my How to Jailbreak videos um, teach you how to install it, but you do have to start from part one all the way and finish the entire video set. Now scroll down to wipe and full data wipe. Now go back, go to flash zip from SD card, and flash sense hero. Once again, if you guys do not have the correct SPL, you can watch any of my SPL videos, the ENG, Danger, or Death SPL, and you need your SD card partitioned to EXT4, Linux Swap, and FAT32, and I'll have the annotations and links in the description. So let, let's let this flash. Alright, and once it's done, just hit reboot system now and let the phone boot up. Alright guys, and once it's booted up, you'll officially be running sense hero. Um, on your T-Mobile G1 or my Touch 3G. So make sure you rate this video five stars, guys. Um, all you have to do is click a button. Um, comment it if you need any help. And make sure you guys subscribe to my channel for all the amazing videos I'm going to be posting extremely soon. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys in my next videos.